Uh, chances are good, supposedly. So I'm going to take command in this instance. I'm going to have to take down that missile base quite quickly, I think. Biggest combat so far, pretty sure. Of Luckily, this time around, there are no neblers. It's completely random now, I believe, so it could have happened. Uh, these, ooh, they have proton torpedoes. Now these can be avoided actually. So, but it's down to how good you are at moving around the map, basically. Faster your ships, easier it is to avoid them. Anti-missile rockets are just like crap point defense, basically. From what I can tell. Yeah, there's nothing too special on there. Heavy armor, no battle pods. That's got dauntless, no doubt, and a ton of mervs, which, yeah, that's an issue. And uh, I don't think this has any moves. That seems buggy. Right, there's a shitload of asteroids in front of me, which should hopefully won't cause me any issues. And um, right, let's get things going then. So I've only got one frigate, I think, in my fleet these days. Let's attack that. Uh, these can. Attack that. Uh, dragon ship can. Oh, I should say the skirmish ship should uh, go over there. Am I gonna get everything to target that? I guess I get that to target that. That to target that. Let's briefly unpause. Okay, no idea what's that aiming at. Hopefully, it'll hit the asteroids in front of me actually. Uh, let's. Stick them in the formation. Okay. Seems to have worked. Oh, this is a problem actually, these asteroids. It could be, uh, missiles could all hit them. Yeah, looks like they are. Okay. Added complications here. It's actually even getting shield damage from the asteroid, perhaps. Right, the destroyers are grouping up, so I'm not sure if they fired the missiles or not. Right, that's both getting damage, good, but is it enough? I think that's going to get taken out, crucially. That's taken out. Okay, let's have... Out. What is that? Looks like I might have lost my shields on that. Okay. Um, might want to hand back with that then for a bit. That's losing shields. Uh, let's put them on sniper roll if I can then for a second. Okay, uh, looks like I've got to wait a bit for my missiles to come back. Uh, that's an issue. I think I'll have these destroyers then target the cruiser up there. Also, that frigate can also target that. Um, dragon ships out of shields, that's coming online soon. Uh, let's pull that back. I'll move that. Uh, both of those can start to target that still. But a torpedo coming from the frigate, hopefully, will take that out. Uh, no one near. Okay, right, shields are starting to come back, good. Okay, uh, there's missiles incoming here by the looks of it, so let's uh, get near to those. Okay. Right. Can I use that? Let's try it. Okay, shield's coming back on that because I haven't been shot for a while. What's 
going on back here? Looks like a destroyer got targeted. Now the cruiser's is getting attacked. I don't think I'm taking any hit point down, which is crucial. That's finally down. Good. Uh, let's have that target that. Uh, destroyers can target the frigates. And the rest of those ships can target the cruiser. Right, the moves. Don't, as I should say. Retargeted, good. Right, going to close range, but shields are good. Okay, that's torpedoes. I'll try and move out of the way. Nope. Right, it's downed anyway. Right, I don't think I took any hit point damage on, which is a crucial thing. Took me a while to take it all down now. Okay, brilliant. Let's have a look at the attack colony. So they have 10 marines and a very good capital system here. Uh, from prior experience, we know that two transports was enough. So let's send in two here. Unless something's changed, that should work again. So, one, two, deploy. Okay. That planet is now ours. I would love to make that this turn, but I don't actually have enough money to buy it. Could build it instead. I think I'll start on it. Okay, and that's the buildings it has. Right. Uh, transports. You know what? I might as well bring them back up. There's. Forget I need to get to bomb that. Sadly, let's move, use this movement. Uh, upgrades. Cruiser roll. That's the only thing I need to upgrade there. I think that's it for the turn now. So, another successful turn. More population. Everything looking good. Let's end the turn. Okay. This is GNN. And now, the state of the galaxy. Current number of colonies. Clackon are doing really well, but if everything goes right, uh, I should be able to get them to vote for me. Okay, so let's do the movement this turn. And threatening fleet, supposedly. Okay, they've actually managed to build. Well, not sure that's a decent fleet, but uh, that's a big. No ships I've seen them with. Uh, certainly not going to be able to take on that though. Uh, this turn, let's get this frigate to blow that up while it's over here. Okay. Right. And I'm pretty sure I don't need to upgrade this turn, so let's move that over here. I want to buy a factory here this turn, so I can remember that. Uh, let's get in here now then. So space factory there it's 287. I hope I don't need cash for something else. Right. And yeah, I don't think there's any more combat I can really do. So I gotta take a minute out to update this. Okay, I've updated the Empire Management screen this turn. I decided to buy the Alien Management Center on SLA. So I believe that was the only thing I bought this turn, though, apart from that factory earlier on. So this is the state of things currently. I've got tiny bits of movement. It's something which I've mentioned in comments, but I don't believe I've mentioned in the video as well. Uh, these governors that give extra credits on the colonies within the system. Uh, there's been a question about whether or not it would work with the minor race that gives extra money. 
I checked it out before and uh, no, it doesn't work. So that's why I haven't moved one of them over to the new system. Having said that though, it might be worthwhile moving one of my leaders over there eventually, but currently it has 16 population and I have governors placed on better population systems currently. So Pietas and Mulbans have one more population, I think Mulban does than that. And uh, yeah, I don't think I have any systems that have 17 population or more. Uh, low, there's probably some close somewhere. Uh, right, there's a frigate down there. Now actually, they got an outpost there, the Sacra, so I have to do something about that. Uh, they've moved this turn. Let's move this turn. I've got a couple of ships here, and I think it might just be enough to take out an outpost with. So I'm gonna move that to there. And troop transports, more troop transports. Yeah, I want to come up here, but I'm basically waiting on that. How many turns? Two. Uh, might as well wait until the next turn then to attack that. I'll have an extra ship in here. Uh, the outpost may even attack me potentially. Uh, those troop transports. Let's bring up to there, I guess. And how many have I got? Three. Arguably could do with buying some more, but yeah, I won't do quite yet. Uh, let's end the turn. What have I bought here? I bought a factory. Yeah, maybe I should buy some transports next turn. Now. Let's end the turn. Should probably buy five next turn if I was so inclined. Up to five. Can't buy more now. On one planet, of course. Right, they're bringing yet more ships here, so they are grouping up now. Uh, Foxtrot, right, we completed the infiltrate mission on the Mercians. We acquired subterranean farms, which I was hoping to pick up off the clack on. Uh, doesn't look like it's caused any issues, crucially. Let's do the automated movement this turn. I've got colony ship coming down here. Uh, yeah, I haven't really been showing you all every tiny bit of movement I've been doing. I've got a couple of civil transports coming down to these colonies, I think. And all of these jump gates are being made over various places. That's about it. Okay, tech this turn. We just picked up alien psychology, which may be really good, maybe crap, who knows. I've done well without it, I think, diplomatically wise. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is head up towards Astro University now for the extra research. Probably the way I should go, but you could definitely make argument for getting maybe that sooner, perhaps. But there's uh, hopefully not long to go. Okay, so I'm gonna take a minute out to update this. This turn, I actually wanted to buy transports on Zynga 2, but I don't have a marine barracks there, so I've had to buy that. I believe that's the only thing I've bought this turn. And uh, yeah, that's the state of things other than that. Espionage. I believe I sent uh, one of, well, I think I stole subterranean farms, wasn't it? So that guy is now going to target the Hydra colony, which I believe had security one. And it's got about 13 population or something like that up there. And I'm sure there's some other agent that I did something with, but I can't actually remember what it was now. I've got a tiny bit of movement left this turn. So, what is it? Right, I bought a factory there last turn, didn't I? So let's bring that to here and make a jump gate. Uh, or maybe I could make one there. Well, I guess I brought it over here now, so let's... Uh, Ah, uh, fuck it. I'll move it back there next to the make a jump gate. Uh, Slug can have one of its own, I guess. Okay, and uh, troop transports. Uh, not going to move them, I think. What I want to do this turn, though, is uh, combat against this outpost. So, let's attack. And, yeah, all three ships. I'm going to do take command because I don't trust this. So... Ok, 
Okay, there's nebulas, which you're going to have to watch out for. Uh, right, let's move to here, and then I'll start firing, I think. Okay, what a target in the cruiser, which I'm probably okay with. Right, let's target that now then. Okay, do they have moves? Yeah, they do. But it doesn't, the move doesn't seem to work every time. So there's one volley of move and one of not of move, I think. Right, that's the volley of move. If they're attacking anything other than my cruiser, I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, yeah. Right, so I need to take it down on this volley or it's going to be problematic. Did that fire off a torpedo? Hopefully it did. Right, their point defense is rather good on these, so uh, it's an issue. Right, luckily the shield's coming back. Come on, I need one more volley off something and we're out of missiles. So the shield's coming back. Is he going to fire? Point defense. Right, phew. Okay, it's down. Okay, victory. So that clears that path. Uh, I brought my fleet up as well as a frigate over there. Main fleet there. Uh, right, those troop transports can move there and then up there next turn. Have them wait. Okay, that's it for the turn. Next turn is the absolutely crucial turn, I believe. So I've got to get things ready, basically, next turn, I believe. Um, I am tempted to sell something this turn, but it should kick in next turn. I guess we'll find out. Uh, trade a colony to the Illyrians. I've got one in mind. Okay. Right, crucially no wars, so hotel infiltrated there. This is the f possibly the final turn now. Uh, the math all seems correct to me. Clackhorn actually have 109 votes. And the Illyrians have 100, so I need to give 10 population over to them by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, then basically see if that's enough to... Uh, carry the victory for all figures out. Okay, I'm going to do the automated movement this turn. Uh, what's going on there? Right, stolen information off the Illyrian supposedly. Right, I'm going to take a minute out to do this and a bit of the movement. Okay, Empire Management this turn and possibly the last turn. I'm going to buy these transports on Zynga 2. I may or may not need them. So there's five there. And I've basically done all of the movements. There wasn't anything in particular that was uh, very important. All of my ships are moving up here if I need them. Uh, making a jump get there. Frigates coming over there if that was down there. Colony ship coming down there. A small bit of a fleet that attacked that is coming over there. Jump gates being made everywhere. And uh, yeah, that's how the Empire looks. Espionage. The Illyrian have a colony up here, so I sent a spy to deal with that, uh, one of them anyway. And that's how espionage looks. The crucial thing now, though, is selling a colony, or seeding a colony. I think if I seed Zynga Prime, that's going to be enough population for the Illyrian to have more than the uh, Clacon, which is crucial. And also, it should mean that I should have enough with all of my alliances to win still, I believe. So, it is Zynga Prime. Right. So we meet again, Ask for an audience. What is your proposal? And look for Zynga Prime. And uh, hope this works, basically. 
So they want this seems a sensible approach. Well, and they will actually give me a shitload of stuff here. This is actually potentially really manipulatable. Uh, because they give me a huge amount of money and all of their techs. Uh, I don't really want a lot of those techs. They're crappy computers that I don't particularly need. Uh, so let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. And I'll take your money if you'll give it to me. So... How about that? This seems a sensible approach. Okay, let's propose that. So yeah, they definitely shouldn't be given that for that. My pleasure. So let's check this out. Oh, right, the population has gone up crucially, so that's 112. Goodbye, then. Okay, and uh, that is now more than a clack on, which is 109. So, unless they get more population in this turn, it shouldn't. Uh, well, my opponent should be the Illyrian. And I think. Yeah, Singer Prime now is theirs. Uh, so that's reduced mine, but I should still be enough here. So I've probably got about, with my allies, around 430 votes. And I think the Illyrian, the Sacra, and the Mercian have about 200 votes. So that's more than two-thirds. And, uh, well, the council vote should be uh, this turn. So, uh, well, let's find out what happens, shall we? Could have bought something, maybe. Hope it's this turn, because I've been uh, basically planning for everything for this turn now. No, it's not. Fuck it. What the hell turn is it, then? Okay, maybe it's the turn after. So, 38 turns. Right, that's really freaking annoying. I'm sure it was... It's supposed to be 30 turns. Uh, right, uh, let's do the automated movement this turn. Uh, agreement for paying Terrans has run out. Trade treaty. Okay, I'm going to take a minute out and rush through this and then end the turn. Hopefully the council vote will happen. Otherwise, I don't know what's going on, frankly. Okay, I've checked my notes, and it says the last council was turn 178, so it's 30 turns ago. So I'm pretty sure the council will be at the end of this turn. I thought it was last turn, but uh, I guess not. If it's not at the end of this turn, then I've got a clue what's going on. Uh, right, so what I've done this turn, I've bought a cruiser here, and I also built a research, uh, or bought a research building, and was on a volcanic planet that uh, had no production uh, being put into it so that's the current state of things here not that it really is going to matter in a second hopefully and uh, this fleet here I could bring up to destroy the outpost but uh, I'm not even going to bother let's just end the turn and uh, see what happens victory hopefully or council at least Okay, I assume after the count, right? Yeah, brilliant. Here we go. So this is uh, decision time, and that's what I wanted to see. Okay, that's the first step. Okay. Hmm, I just can't seem to make up my mind. The deep ones have chosen. Right, so they just voted for us. 116 I've made my votes decision. They voted for us. 180. I choose none. Already had the minor. I was born to command. None I... can challenge that. The hive has spoken. So we have. 289 votes. 493 votes have been spent. There are 638 in total. If I vote for myself, which I'm about to... I would appoint myself for the seat. Is that enough? 
victory. Yes, it is. Wow. Okay. Brilliant. So I just managed it. And uh, yeah, uh, we've got folks from basically five different parties, three alliances, and a minor race. And the Illyrians had uh, that folks there. But I've sneaked the victory and it's on turn 208 on extreme difficulty. I think that's pretty good going. So, brilliant. Well, he looks rather pleased, and I am as well. I'm not sure. Once in control of the Galactic Council, the League quickly promulgates a series of ordinances to completely restructure tax law. The galaxy is to become a trading hub, but to whose benefit? Okay, so I assume that's uh, basically to do with the Nolems winning. I'm not sure if you would get that every time. So uh, let's check out the match history. Is it? Okay, so if we select everyone and uh, check this out, so score pretty much on all of these, there's going to be a point where I start going through the roof, really. Uh, that's my fleet. Population actually went down because I sold a planet to the Illyrians, which is crucial to get them above the clack on. So it's a bit gamey me doing that, perhaps, but. Uh, yeah, I didn't particularly want to play on for 30 more turns. So, yeah, we lost the colony there. Sakura actually colonized another planet there, by the looks of it. And that's our GDP, which was, for most of the game, actually, we had the most money. Okay, I guess that's it for this Let's Play then, apart from my final thoughts on how things went, and uh, I'd like to mention a few things about the game as well. So I must admit, I'm pretty surprised about how uh, quickly I was able to win. I thought I'd have to play on for at least another 30 turns, if not 60 or so turns at one point, and end up doing well into the 30-odd videos. But yeah, I've sneaked a really quick win here. This is actually the first time I believe that I've won on Extreme Difficulty. I've played up until a point before where I'm sure of that I was going to win, but uh, yeah, I think this is the first time I've actually completed a game at this level, and it's going to be pretty hard to beat that as well. 208 turns is really friggin' quick on any difficulty level, especially with that amount of opponents, I think. So yeah, pretty, pretty uh, pleased with that, I must admit. So it took a bit of uh, micro in here to get the uh, exact amount of population I needed over the line. But uh, yeah, I definitely think that was a really, really strong victory. The game overall, there's uh, definite improvements that could be made. But I think the patch that accompanied needs, uh, the Revenge of the Antarians, uh, or Revenge of Antares, is very very good. It's added a lot to the game. The new races are very fun to play. Nolums especially, I really like them. The one thing about the Nolums that I wasn't really able to show off in this Let's Play is the diplomacy screen. That's really good actually. But uh, they're really fun to play and maybe a bit overpowered with how much income they can actually uh, obtain. That certainly helped a lot. And uh, I really didn't need production all that much. I'm not sure how many ships, combat ships, I actually made. Uh, apart from very early on, I bought most of them. I would say though that the AI needs improvement, definitely, but that's the case, you could say that with pretty much every 4X game, uh, especially these days, developers really don't put enough effort into AI in my opinion. Uh, it's probably the hardest thing to get right though, in their defense in uh, 4X games. I'd also say that the victory conditions arguably need a bit of... Uh, Balancing. I mean, everything went pretty much right for me to win in this fashion, but last Let's Play I did, economic victory seemed way too easy, and arguably, um, maybe they should balance them up where uh, you get victory at around the same time. Some of the victory conditions are a lot easier to get, and therefore a lot quicker, uh, much more possible for you to get, like uh, economic victory, and as it turns out, a diplomatic victory as well. So that's areas that uh, massive Orion developers could definitely work on. 
But, uh, yeah, that's it for this Let's Play. Hopefully they'll do that by the time I play the next Let's Play. I'm not sure when the next Master of Orion Let's Play will be. You'll have to let me know when you when you want to see another one. And I think Inner Space 2 is getting an update in January. Uh, so that's probably... Well, I'm not sure for definite what I'm going to be doing next. But that's definitely on the cards in January at some point. And I've got some other plans as well. But uh, we'll see. Okay then, that's it for this Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please let me know in the comments. I'd be really interested to know your thoughts. And what you'd like to see on the channel in future. And also... Uh, I should recommend subscribing as well if you haven't done so already. That way you'll know when future content is out on the channel. And apart from that, I should also mention my Patreon page. Without Patreon, I just wouldn't be able to continue making these videos. Uh, any donations, any support from individuals is absolutely massive. An extra dollar or two even every month from individuals is absolutely huge. I can't stress that enough. Uh, because it would take you, well, basically you'd have to watch about a thousand videos before equating to that amount from any one person. So it's, yeah, massive Patreon. And um, I'd be really, really grateful if I could get some more Patreons, basically. And uh, hopefully I will. We'll see. Right, that's it then for this Let's Play. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.